If you see smoke, check for the source of the smoke. If it is coming from behind the washers, it is possible that the washer is overloaded and the belt is spinning freely on the pulley. Open the bulkhead and turn off the electrical power. This should solve the problem. If the smoke is coming from a dryer, escort all customers out of the laundry and call the fire department. Contact your supervisor. Wait for authorities by the front door. Don't be a hero. Let the professionals handle this. If you see water on the floor, find the source of the leak. Know where all water shutoffs are located, hot and cold, and shut off the water to that machine. Place a caution sign by the water and quickly mop up the water. If you cannot locate the source, call your supervisor. If you smell gas, evacuate everyone from the building. Contact the gas company and the fire department. Make sure that no one lights a match or cigarette as it can cause an explosion. If the laundry loses power, locate the electrical panel and check for any trip breakers. If you find a switch that was tripped, reset it. If all the power is off, shut off all the breakers to the equipment. Identify the machines each customer was using and assure them that they will get their laundry back. Create a list of customers' names, phone numbers, and machine numbers. Call the power company, contact your supervisor, lock the laundry, and wait for your supervisor. Once the power is restored, go to the electrical panel and turn on all the breakers. For card laundry, remember to start all of the computers with a reboot after the power is restored. If the power comes on and the equipment breakers are not off, there's a good chance that some of the computer boards will be damaged, which can be a costly repair.